So like a lot of multi-touch interfaces, I can use two fingers to pan and zoom around the workspace, but we take multi-touch a step further. So for example, I can use the side of my finger to shove objects into the corner to help organize them. And then if I want to more strictly organize them, I can use all five fingers to scrunch them into a pile and then flip through them based on the manipulation experience. So let me just double tap to zoom on the selection. And you see this picture of uh, the Taj Mahal. I can again double tap to zoom in on it. Uh, pretty cool picture, except I don't really like the people in front of it because it's kind of ruining the picture. So in Bump Top, I can actually very easily crop the photo by slicing across and it just chops off uh, what I don't want. And then further, uh, I can do that on the other edge too here. So what you can use Bump Top um, is uh, if you just broke up your girlfriend, you can just crop her right out of your photos using that photo crop gesture I showed you and then update that on your Facebook status by just tossing it up to Facebook to upload. And then you can see that photo uploaded to Facebook in one easy step. In on this thing, you need to put your badge on the surface. Here we have a carousel control that we had to Parts build. of the human anatomy. We're going to choose Linda's heart. This is going out to Microsoft Health Fault. Yeah, I saw the logo pop up there. So this Placed is... Placed a stint on Linda's heart, and this is what I did. And... You can type technically while and I'm doing, and you, you can annotate on the inside of the right. heart just as easily as on the exterior. Another and when I place it down, that snowboard is brought to life on surface. relates to acidity and body and depth and what I can do is I can whittle down this list of wines to exactly what I'm looking for and 